This is Austria. Stunning, breathtaking, spectacular. I've recently visited this beautiful country on a short five day trip. In this sixth video series, we're sampling just a fraction of what this country has to offer. In previous videos, we visited the capital city, Vienna, where we were blown away by the absolutely mind-blowing architecture and history. We then fell in love with the magical Salzburg in the snow. In future videos, we're also going to be covering some useful points in relation to getting around Austria. But now, it's time to visit somewhere completely different. <laughs> and today, we're in one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Welcome to Hausstadt. So good morning and welcome everyone to a wonderfully wintry morning in mid-January in Austria. In today's video we're going to be continuing our epic journey across Austria. So far in this series we've been to the capital Vienna, we've been to the gorgeous city of Salzburg and we're now going to be exploring Hallstatt, an absolutely famous and beautiful alpine town slash village located very close to Salzburg. If you want to check out this series of videos, you can check out the playlist up above. Also in that video series is a video all about how I got here today. And you know what? I'm loving this place. Apparently it's the most Instagrammable place in the world. We shall see. Now, unlike other videos, I'm not going to be in this video again until the very end. I think the reason for that is obvious. You've come to this video because you want to see the beauty and peace and quiet of Hallstatt. It's picturesque, it's divine, it's spectacular, stupendous, momentous and astronomical. Just look at it, look at the mountains in the distance. We're going to go for a bit of a walk now to show you a bit more of the wonderful Hallstatt. As you've seen already when you get off the bus you can see across the lake to the mountains and the town area in the distance. I'm heading towards the market square now. Um, just look at the architecture beautifully coloured buildings with these lovely signs on with um, foliage growing up the sides of the buildings. Look at these blue skies. You know, seeing the snow on the trees up in the mountains, it's just that dusting of snow. It's like you know, icing on a cake. And this is for me, the icing on the cake when it comes to travel. I don't think I've ever been to somewhere like this that is just so spectacular and picturesque. You know, you've got these alpine buildings, alpine lodges up in the hills. It's just beautiful. One of the things you'll read online about Hallstatt is that the Frozen movies, the animated movies, were apparently inspired by here. Also in this area, Salzburg and Hallstatt in general, the Sound of Music, you can do Sound of Music tours. The hills are alive with the Sound of Music. So as a result of both of those two things and the fact that it is said to be the most Instagrammable place in the world, as I said at the beginning, it's extremely touristic. As you can see in front of me, there's a tour group and one thing I researched before I came here. I watched a video with some locals in Hallstatt who, <laughs> to put it mildly, were slightly frustrated with Chinese tour groups. And nothing against Chinese tour groups, but there are many of them here. It seems to be predominantly Chinese in terms of the tourists. And what they said in that video was that people come here, they take millions of photos, they don't add anything to the local economy by buying things in cafes and um, you know, other things like that, souvenir shops, and they ride around on bikes um, dangerously. And to be honest with you, it is something that dampens the delight 
of being here because they are extremely noisy. Um, you know, it, just come to a place and respect it, please, people, please. Look at that. In a way, this is almost too perfect. It's like a dream. Is this real? Apparently so. You can come down these little narrow streets, snow on the ground, water trickling past in a stream down there, and um, look at the wonderful buildings, this alpine field, as I said. You couldn't get more magical than this. Off the market square in Halstadt there are countless restaurants, cafes, museums, churches, you name it. However, the day that I'm here, most of it's closed. <laughs> so I don't know whether that's to do with it in January or whatever. Um, but you know, maybe coming in the summer would be a better time, but then you wouldn't potentially get the beautiful snowy mountains, snow-capped peaks in the distance. We've just um, climbed up a bit now, a bit further up to look above Halstatt and it continues to be breathtakingly splendid up here. As you can hear in the background, there is drilling. So, you know, Halstatt isn't totally picture perfect. Reality still happens, people, even in picturesque locations such as this. Obviously, there's construction happening. It's a tourist destination hotels everywhere so you know you can you have to expect that kind of thing in the background but it's still wonderful This is a bit further on past the church and the cemetery. Still the same, you know, alpine style buildings, lovely blue skies, logs outside people's houses, a gaggle of tourists. Um, let's get past them. <laughs> and just look at these spectacular views. You know, where can you come to in the world where you can see this? Lake Louise in Canada, Places in New Zealand like Franz Joseph and Mount Cook. Those places definitely up there for me. Also, Halstead definitely reminds me of places in Japan like Takahara and um, Okonoshima. You know, quite des not not that they're mountainous or anything, but they're quite deserted like this um, and isolated. I love the architecture in Halstead. You know, these beautiful buildings, like I said before. Trees growing up outside the houses. Are those Christmas decorations left outside? I don't know. Pinks, yellows, oranges. Love the little signs. Love the, the lettering. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It'll be interesting to come here at night actually to see what it looks like after dark.
one thing I think that is great about Harstadt, for the locals especially, is that many areas are verboten, as in forbidden. You can't go down certain places because they're private property. Um, I think that's great because it gives the locals some privacy, you know. I can't imagine what it's like to live here, you know, with the constant stream of tourists. I wouldn't want them on my doorstep, you know, walking around taking photos, completely oblivious of their surroundings. Um, so to have that privacy, I think, is great for the locals. If you live in Halstadt, I honestly don't know how you do it. You have my every respect. It's me again. Now, I know everything in this video, at the end of every bit, I'm like, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, it's amazing. But honestly, that's the reaction you have when you come here. If you've been here yourself, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. That would be great. So what is my final impression, really, of Halstadt, despite me being here for a few hours? I wouldn't be human if I didn't think this was one of the most visually spectacular locations I've ever been to in my entire life, in the entire world. There's no denying that. However, I also wouldn't be human if I didn't look at the reality of things. You know, because it is a tourist place, there is something about it that I can't put my finger on that is mildly unsettling. Is it the fact that it is overrun with tourists and perhaps it has been ruined because of that? Is it because there is a sense of anger from the locals which you can absolutely sense when they're just walking by or driving past in their car there was a, a woman down there playing with a cat and she was standing in the road taking a photo of it she didn't move until the car was basically hitting her and the guy shook his head and that pretty much sums up in one moment what i think is the locals attitude towards foreigners and tourists here which i can completely 100 percent understand completely so, um, you know, overall, house chat is wonderful. All those words I said at the beginning, I will not take them back. It's absolutely true. And you should come here to marvel at the spectacle of this visual masterpiece. It is a masterpiece, just like everything in Austria. It's like a painting. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Coming up next, as I said, is the video about how to get here. There are then a couple of other videos about Austria as well. So um, I'm going to continue to walk around now and have a look around. Lovely. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.